Welcome to another exciting edition of How to Own a Young Earth Creationist, henceforth known as a Yik. Today, lesson number the false dichotomy. Okay, question for Dr. Hoven. What is your strongest piece of evidence for creation? I think the evidence for creation would be the absolute impossibility of the contrary. The false dichotomy assumes that intellectual and scientific discourse is analogous to a football game in that the team that doesn't lose will win by default. This, of course, is not how science works and asserting so borders on the intellectually criminal. Needless to say, a false dichotomy is easily defeated and ownership of the yik can be taken with the greatest of expedience. Follow along in your yik owner's manual pages to rebuttal one. Falsification, even absolute falsification, of one theory is not in any way, shape, or form evidence for another. Yicks constantly attack evolutionary biology, cosmological models of the universe, plate tectonics, paleontology, and geology, among others, because these sciences seem to conflict with strange desert legends whose authors' descendants even understand to be myth. By omitting important facts, exaggerating existing facts, misinterpreting data, quote mining, oversimplification of of theory and good old-fashioned lying, yicks try to dis discredit science but never offer any positive evidence for creationism. In any type of discourse, one side has the burden of proof, which is the requirement to provide evidence of the claim being made. This fact seems to be escaping the yick as most facts generally do. The best positive evidence that a yik can come up with is a 5,000-year-old myth which describes a god creating a woman only after the first man it created declined to have sex with any beast of the field. Rebuttal 2. Inability to understand or ignorance of scientific theory is not proof of anything other than the lack of a proper education. The only accredited biologist who would propose something as stunningly ridiculous as a crocoduck would be a botanist who had recently ingested 35 times the lethal dose of tetrahydrocannabinol. No biologist has ever suggested that a dog gave birth to a cat or that some retarded monkey squirrel had butt sex with a frog horse sex dog that in turn gave birth to a gay-looking pangolin. Holding up a picture of a crocoduck and actually presenting it as anything other than humor is only demonstrating ignorance. An equivalent action would be showing a video of a gasoline burning and then insisting that combustion engines are not possible because they would explode when the fuel was ignited. Rebuttal 3. Genesis is not evidence. When the yik points to the biblical story of creation and expects it to be accepted as scientific evidence, ownership of the yik can be taken with even greater than normal expedience. If Genesis is to be accepted as scientific evidence, it must be subjected to the same brutal critical examination as all other scientific evidence. When we examine Genesis, we find that light was created before light-producing objects such as the sun and the stars, which is a physical impossibility. Plants are created before the sun, but to be fair, it was just one day before the sun, so they may have survived being frozen for a brief period of time, assuming that plants were created around 9 p.m. and the sun at 5 a.m. the next morning. Genesis goes on to offer such questionable musings as men living to be over 900 years old, a god who killed all living things because human imagination is evil, and then promising not to kill all living things again because human imagination is evil, and showing streaked sticks to goats would cause them to bear streaked offspring. It can now be shown that even a rudimentary examination of Genesis is sufficient to conclude that it is unreliable in a scientific sense. Rebuttal 3. Look around you is not evidence either. In the Jaguar Jones video, How to Own a Yik Design Requires a Designer, it was shown that, a des that design in nature is a false perception that can be easily accounted for by natural psychological methods. Well, creation is 100% scientific proof there was a creator. Objection assumes facts not in evidence. Simply calling it creation instead of Earth is not evidence either. 2 plus 2 is 5, so long as you define 5 as the sum of 2 plus 2. However, improperly defining 5 does not make the statement any more correct. The English language refers to a sunrise and a sunset, but we know that the sun is stationary relative to the Earth. By calling this an automobile, this young lady could easily be arrested for operating an automobile without a valid license. The argument creation is proof of a creator is a childish argument from semantics that should be dismissed as juvenile balderdash that does not even rise to the level of a preschool language lesson.
Rebuttal 4. Morality is proof of nothing. The fact that some people behave themselves is no more proof of God's existence than people misbehaving themselves is proof of Satan. In his video, Why Do People Laugh at Creationist, Part 29, Thunderfoot demonstrates the natural explanation for people behaving themselves. In the video, How to Own a Yik, Science is Immoral, the innumerable evolutionary benefits of being a member in good standing of a group are examined. If you have violated those four commandments, you are self-admitted, lying, thieving, blasphemous, adulterate at heart, and you have to face God on Judgment Day whether you believe in them or not. This statement is demonstrably false, and by making it, one could reasonably conclude that Ray Comfort metaphorically resembles a deformable paper container capable of being closed at the mouth full of fecal matter from an unspecified animal that routinely, purposefully, and habitually makes false statements. The free thinker faces an even harsher judge than God. The free thinker sets in judgments on him or herself, and it has been clearly demonstrated by such free thinkers as Thunderfoot, Aaron Ra, Theta Omega, Dark the Atheist, and DPR Jones, just to name a few, that a free thinker is more than capable of placing a downward facing forward slap in a horizontal position of rest on a gelatinous sugar based substance formed in the shape of two human buttocks. Rebuttal 5. Disproving one part of a scientific theory does not invalidate the entire theory. Yicks have been operating on the assumption that one small minor victory can win a war. Even if that were true, the minor victory has yet to be achieved. The Yick will often bring up Piltdown Man, Nebraska Man, and or Archaeoraptor, and then strut around as if God just gave them a rim job. However, if the Yick proposes this argument, ownership of that Yick will be immediate, because now the freethaker can demonstrate the advantage of the self-correcting mechanism of science and then rhetorically ask the Yick to demonstrate the self-correcting mechanism of theology. After proposing such a question, any persons within reasonable physical proximity of the Yick will note that the facial expression has changed to one resembling any animal of the family Cervidae which is being illuminated by an automobile's headlamps. The Yik strategy seems to be the same as the misguided analogous whale hunters who tried to capture and kill a blue whale with a rubber band and a toothpick from the deck of a leaking paddle boat. It should be reiterated that even if a Yik does manage to show that all data and interpretation of it that comprises the mind-bogglingly huge body of knowledge that is biology, plate tectonics, cosmology, geology, etc. is false, they still have not pre presented any evidence for creation. Assuming that such a task could be completed in this century, the burden of proof that Yik so gleefully saddle science with now becomes theirs and theirs alone. At that point, fortunately for the Yik, they will have the benefit of the calm, sober, and rational scientific community who will expect their evidence to meet well-established benchmarks to be determined before the investigation begins, thus eliminating the threat of moving the goalpost at the last second. A benefit, it should be noted, that Yiks have unethically denied the scientific community thus far in this discussion. So the next time a squirrely little yik tries to pollute the discussion with the false dichotomy, use any of the rebuttals above, and you can be sure to take ownership of your yik with the greatest of expedience. This is Jaguar Jones, saying good day, and happy owning.